Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the Arcade Saga. These three Arcades were my birthday gifts from this year. And those two are uh, both Nelly Eilers and then the Red Velvet variety. So I will put those together and we will give this one a new home. This is the Autumn Falls, I believe. So uh, yeah, let's get over and uh, prepare the uh, up putting table and uh, first start with what, what's in the pot. And hopefully they have uh, good roots, new uh, growing tips, that would be awesome. So uh, I'm going to set everything up and we will uh, take it from there. So let's start with the uh, Nelly Eilers first. And yes, I need to clean this one out, but it uh, doesn't make sense now because I will now put old media in it. And afterwards I will, uh, will clean it. It's very dirty. I just did forget about it, I think. I, uh, I don't uh, remember exactly what happened, but anyhow, most of the times they do not have particular good root systems, especially the Nelly Eilers and Miltoniopsis in my experience. But I do see a new green, uh, green root tip, tip here, I'm sorry, there, and it also is just starting a new growth over here. But as you can see, it's a little bit uh, wibbly in a pot, but it also has uh, bark and already some pumice in there, so I really like that. So, uh, because I'm a big fan of pumice, but it isn't used to uh, self-watering, so it will uh, need to go through that transition period. But let's take it out and let's have a look. We have some roots, but as expected, those roots aren't uh, alive anymore, at least most of them. And some moss here, moss block. So. It doesn't smell terrible, luckily. But there's a little bit of a uh, fragrance, <laughs> but not bad yet. But it's time to do a repot to freshen things up. Yeah, the moss is all that, I believe. The rest was okay, but the moss is a bit smelly. And we have a lot of roots falling off already. Those were dead, so that's not a big problem. They need to come off anyhow, that's what I basically mean. But as you can see, not much roots. As almost as usual with these plants. Some are still firm, luckily. But these ones around the top are still uh, alive, I believe. Yeah, I will grab my scissors and turn the fan off because of the noise. Let me see. That's firm. So I try to check all of them to get a general idea. I'm not completely sure. Those ones are dead. The main roots mostly are alive of this one, but the, the branches are dead. So I try to get those off as good as I can. And hopefully they will. Uh, Start to shoot it out again. And Nelly Eiler, in my experience, takes uh, quite a while to uh, to grow and uh, and to bloom as well. But the ones that I have are doing fairly well, I must admit. But it did uh, take a while to recover them and to uh, transition into a new uh, growing system. These are just slow growers, slower than the Miltoniopsis, in my experience. So that's why I always say, if you uh, think your Miltoniopsis is growing slow, you put a, just put a Nelly Island next to it and uh, suddenly your Miltoniopsis is starting growing a bit quicker. They're extremely slow growers. 
I'm not happy with these these roots. Yeah, I think this one is good to go. So we have some roots, and I just uh, hope they will uh, start growing again. Yeah, one is starting to branch here, so that's a good sign, of course. And I will take off as much old media as I can. Most of it is already off, <clears throat> but just a little bit there is okay. But I will flush it under the tap in a second. So I push this one away. Um, yeah. And now we're going to look to the other one. This one is a little bit wobbly as well, but not as much. So we shall see. If this one has a better root system, it's about the same, I think. And these come from the same seller, so that coconut husk plug plus moss. Both of them have have, uh, have those. That was to be expected, of course. Well, this one is starting quite a beautiful new root system on top. I will show it uh, to you guys in a minute. Just first try to get the media off. Sheets can go off. Some roots didn't make it. I pulled them off. I don't know. Yeah, some were okay, but that happens. It's it's a rough process, and I I try not to th to think about it too much. Just do it because it's it's very hard, and you will lose some roots, but that's it, they need to grow uh, new ones. But as you can see, this one is already starting to make uh, new roots on top. Beautiful uh, new set of roots, so it's a beautiful time for this one uh, at least to uh, go into a new setup. Beautiful. I think I'm going to leave it. A little bit of bark there, but yeah, I can get a few off. And that's it. Maybe this one. Oh. Yes, yeah, sadly, I broke a root. They break so easy. But it was such a big clump of coconut husk. Luckily, we have quite a few left. So, yeah. They do break so, so easily. So yeah, this one goes with the other one. I will pot them up together. And while we at it, just start getting this one out of the pot as well, the Autumn Falls. Let me see. This one feels attached. Yeah, there's a root there. The old root, there it was. Uh, some coconut nusk husk there. <laughs> Stick as well. These roots feel uh, quite firm still, so I believe most of them are just alive. 
are still alive. So that's beautiful. The only downside is we have a sort of plug there. So, and I think it's moss, so it needs to come out. So I try to get in between the roots with my finger. I might break some, but I need, yes, there's a lot of moss there still. So, I will suffer some roots, but I need to get the moss out. In the beginning I left it there because I was too afraid to break all those roots, but it, they will start to rot. It's, it's horrible if you have too much moss in, uh, within organic media. Not good experience with that, so I, I prefer, in that case, uh, suffering uh, some roots because that the plant will eventually uh, start a new root system and then it's all in uh, inorganic media. It's way better than uh, leaving too much in, uh, organic media in it there to rot. And then, like I said, especially moss, moss uh, rots quite easily and a bit quicker. Yeah. But I don't have to cut any roots. They're firm. So what I will do, I will clean this up, I will put them under the tap and then we will back and we will start um, putting them in the new uh, pots. So we'll be right back. So I'm back, I uh, did wash them under the tap. I did sterilize my scissors and the table in between. And now I have my hydrogen. So I always put hydrogen after uh, I wash them under the tap. I never had any problems with snails or snails eggs left there. So I know some say it's diluted because the root system is already red, uh, wet. But uh, I always do this uh, uh, like, uh, like I show you today using hydrogen peroxide 3%. Never had any problems. So why? I, I don't see the point in, ch in uh, changing it. But I like to give them a quite a range. These guys do like to have some, some bush snails or anything in, in the pots. So therefore I like to go in between the bulbs, new growths, roots and um, try to cover every place that may have uh, snails in it or snail eggs. Like I said, in between the roots as much as I can. Might overdo it a little bit, but just to be safe. This is my only chance to get at them before I put them in a pot. So therefore I uh, really take the chance and what I'd like to do is Yes, when it scissors, it's uh, doing its job. So I like to uh, hear if it uh, does its job. And I put, uh, did get the sheets off. I have a potential new growth here on this one and the one there. So I did give them all the room to grow and put out roots. Because that's what we now need after the repot. Same story with these guys, try to cover everything in between the bulbs, give them a fairly spritch of hydrogen peroxide. And I want to check if this one is making another new growth. Well, this leaf is already uh, loose, so I will take it off. This will uh, start to rot anyhow. Let's take it off. There's an eye there, but it's not, not really growing, but if it wants to, it now has the room too. So I'll put those aside for a second, while I can uh, grab the uh, materials. So, whoops! Don't try to knock everything over. While I'm, uh, while they uh, have the hydrogen on, there it was. <laughs> Let me grab my alcohol quickly. And clean the table a little bit. Like this trash can so I can get rid of the leftovers there. This is um, talking about leftovers. This is also sort of leftover. This is really, uh, I'm going to reuse this media. I had a few plants that didn't make it, sadly, but uh, that's the nice thing of inorganic media. So I boil, boiled it and it's here now for a few days. 
it's an old uh, root. It did boil as well, but I don't need to use it. Um, but yeah, this is small pumice and bigger pumice, some Cintiq. So that's uh, great for the Nelly Islanders. I don't have new Cintiq, so I thought, well, I need to, uh, I want to have a little bit of Cintiq in the pot. So this is uh, beautiful, I think. Um, so that's uh, so far. I will grab the, the pots and my water meters and then I will be back again. And those water meters come in uh, these little plastic bags. I uh, basically uh, buy them in bulk. So last time I did order 50 for, of them, so I have a few uh, here. And it's very handy. I, I use them uh, quite a lot. And nowadays I just take the, this tap, this protection tap out uh, straight away because this uh, red thing because uh, these are cheaper ones it gets does get stuck quite easily so now I can tap it with my finger so I will uh, take those off like I said straight away and um, now I need to get my pots <laughs> so let's start with the Nelly Eilers <coughs> I'm sorry they are been soaking for a few minutes now so they are ready to go I have my pot here, the water meter, don't forget that. And my media. I will pay, take some uh, bigger pieces first, put on the uh, bottom of the pot. At least that's the plan. Let me do it like this so you can see that the small pieces will fall out, obviously. That's okay. That's the nice thing of uh, inorganic media. You can reuse it. I really like that. Just boil it and it will be ready to go. Again. So. Let me see. Yeah, I think that's okay. Well, let's have a look at how we will put them in a pot. This thing grows just a little bit wet so I try to... Uh, I have a little bit of tissue paper here so I can... I don't want to start a rot in there of course so let's take care of it. Yeah I think it's dry now. So it has a new growth here and I like to have them in these pots for as long as possible so I will put them like this and then we have this one with a uh, potential two new growths. I think one will develop. I, I just uh, based on the experience, most of the time they will, uh, when they just are repotted, start one of the two. So let me try to hold them next to one another, and I think this is a nice position. So the new growth will be basically be in the middle of the pot. So now I can fill this up with media. So I use. The Cintiq again, small Cintiq and a few bigger pieces, but that's okay. And some Cintiq, because they like it. I even have some pebbles, but not much, so that's okay. Pebbles don't wick, but uh, if you don't have too much, it's, uh, it will be, will be okay. That a little bit hard to get hold of the small corners, but we will succeed. That's it. I will now put some pebbles in the back because those old bulbs probably will not make any roots anymore and they don't need to be uh, too wet. So therefore I like to uh, grab some pebbles. Like I said, they don't wick of course. So Some regular pebbles here and I will put them in the back like I said. And as a top 
dressing in front of the, the plant. Just a few there, not too close to the roots because they can go straight in the, into the pot of course. Yeah, I think this looks pretty fine. As you can see we have some roots on the edge of the pot. I will keep an eye on them, they, they might die off, we will see. But I, uh, I think it's nicely potted up, the two of them. What I will do is just uh, water it regularly, so I don't put it in a uh, reservoir yet. I will keep it uh, watered with RO water and some seaweed, just to get some hormones in there and to try to help the orchids to put out new roots, to continue to grow them. And as soon as I see new green tips around the pot, or on top of the pot, I will give it a reservoir and then it will get started to acclimate into cell watering. So that's the, those are the nearly either red velvets. Let's grab the other one. Change the basket of the, the tray, I should say. And yeah, same situation. Fly there. Uh, here's my water meter. So we have a bottom here. Yeah. Could have a few more here, like that. So if I start a reservoir, the old roots will not come, uh, will sit in directly in the water and leave the choice to the orchid. So if it makes new roots, will grow into the reservoir, that's fine. But the older ones I keep above the reservoir, just in case, because otherwise the chances are very big they will start to rot because they aren't used to it. So that's why uh, I really like uh, giving the plants the choice. And some roots will grow up, stay above and some will go into the reservoir, in my experience. But like I said, the orchid has a, the, her choice. You can choose what she wants. Okay, I hope you can see it. This one is does get the Cintiq as well, just because I already have it here, but this one didn't need uh, really the Cintiq. So I'm re reusing the media, otherwise it will just only get uh, pumice, big pumice and small pumice, because it's fairly small rooted, so I think it will like some small pumice as well. But now it gets some Cintiq because I, I just had it here. But not necessarily for these guys. probably would grow with only big pumice as well, but I think it enjoys a little bit more moisture, it doesn't need that much air around the roots, so therefore small pumice would be fine as well. And as I wiggle, I lift the orchid up a little bit, so it falls, the, the media falls nicely in between the roots, that's uh, how I like to up pot them. So I try to cover every part where roots will be like this and I found this the very the, the most easiest way to do it I think this is okay. So I will now grab some petals. <coughs> Again, a few in the back. Because the old bulbs don't need to be as wet as we discussed.
think it will be okay like this. As you can see we have some roots still visible, that's nice. I can check if those start to branch. Oops, my water meter is now in an angle. So I will try to get it back, push it back, like that. They work better if they are straight up instead of in an angle because then you this red meter again will get stuck way easier because it's in an angle. But now it's uh, it's better and we have some holes, that's okay. A little bit of extra air, it's perfectly fine. So I will put them in, uh, in their um, new pots and we will have a last look at the plants. And before I put them in a pot I like to uh, rinse the pots just one more time to get some excess dust uh, out of the pot if, it, uh, if it's there. So let's uh, give them a quick flush. I have some uh, Calmac water now, I just had it around and a little bit of calcium extra in the pot is, uh, is good as well. But uh, after this I will only use seaweed like, uh, like I did discuss in the, in the video. Just a little bit of water running through the pots. Like that. And these were fairly clean, luckily. So I did uh, wash the media very well, I think. Okay, I will put them out and then uh, we will have the, that last look. So, oh, look at that, how beautiful. <laughs> at least in my opinion. I really enjoy it, as always. I think it's a nice look. I really uh, like my dark gray or black pots. Some pebbles, those beautiful green leaves. So yeah, I really like uh, the look of it. And of course I did give them uh, the tags, or did make them. Nelly Iris, Red Velvet and uh, BD gift, birthday gift. So I don't think I would forget, but uh, just in case. And I think it's uh, the 17th of October now. Probably, oh, 16, I think it's 17. This will be a little bit later on my channel, because I'm a little behind schedule uh, filming wise. But uh, that's okay. I have a lot to talk about, so I have a lot of videos to make. Uh, this, is, uh, this one is the Blossom Falls. I believe from uh, from the Incas. So uh, that one does get its tag as well. So this is it. This is how I uh, do my up um, uh, On on occasion, I will uh, uh, st keep on filming it and putting new uh, repotting uh, videos on there. Not that I uh, change much, but just uh, I think uh, a lot of people are really enjoying the uh, repotting videos and. Um, so therefore, and I really like to uh, to make them. The next few ones will be up puddings. I think that's very nice as well. Uh, so we have all the uh, all the plants that are in my collection that need a bigger pot or something like that. I I'm planning on doing that, uh, doing a few of them because they just need it uh, this autumn and this winter probably. So uh, that's to uh, to come uh, in the near future. As usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. And uh, for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!